I'm Coyote Peterson. What I have in my hand right here is a forest scorpion. Down here in this pocket of water, a bunch of California newts. Hold on, let me see if I can catch one real quick. There we go. Fantastic. All right, now that I have both of these little creatures, let's talk about the differences between venom and poison. Welcome back, Coyote Pack. Thanks for joining me out here on location in Northern California. Now, a lot of you have written in with the question, Coyote, what is the difference between venom and poison? And that's a really great question. Now, the first major difference is in the delivery method. When it comes to venom, it has to be injected. When we're talking about poison, it has to be absorbed. Now, the way that you can be injected with venom is either through a stinger, a set of fangs, or a barb. Now, when we're talking about poison, it has to actually be absorbed into the body. This can happen in a variety of ways. It can either be ingested, like through your mouth, inhaled, like into your lungs, or absorbed with application to the skin, like poison ivy, for example. So what I'm holding here is a forest scorpion. This is a perfect example of a venomous animal. And in this hand, I have a California newt, which is a great example of a poisonous animal. Now, the second difference between venom and poison is how it's used and what it's used for. Now, venom, for example, is usually used by predators to kill their prey, whereas poison is used by prey to help deter predators. First, let's talk about the forest scorpion. This is a great example of a venomous animal. Now, the way that the scorpion catches and kills its prey is through a venom-injecting stinger. What they do is grab onto their prey with these front pedipalps and then whap! They sting the prey, venom is injected, eventually it dies, and then they have their meal. Now, when we're talking about poison, it's usually used by plants and animals to help deter predators. For example, this California newt, you see that real bright coloration on his underside? This bright coloration warns predators that if you eat me, I'm packed full of poison, and there's a good chance that I'm the last meal you're ever gonna have. And of course, these are generalities, and there are going to be exceptions that break these general guidelines. For example, there's a frog that lives in Brazil that has a venomous spine. This frog is now using venom instead of poison to deter predation. That was a great question, and one that we've been wanting to answer for a while. So hopefully now you know a little bit about the differences between venom and poison. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to freehandle the most lethal scorpion species in the United States. All right, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Whew, that definitely gets your nerves going.